When I think about fall, a few things come to mind. Crisp weather, the state fair, and apple pie. Well, it's a good thing Sugarland is in our community because they've got some great pies, including apple pie. And I'm in the kitchen with the head baker, Katrina Ryan, and we're making apple pie. Homemade apple pie, right? Homemade apple pie. Pie is very important. Where cake is sort of ginger, pie is Marianne. Oh. Men like pie better. So oh. I love that line. <laughs> men like pie for dessert. So it is okay. absolutely an essential skill for every woman to be able to make a pie. So I can make Make an apple pie. We're going to teach you how to make an apple pie. Katrina says there are two key ingredients for great pie dough lard for tenderness and butter for flavor and browning. Another key element is knowing how to roll out the dough. Whoa. Here, so if need you need some muscle on this. Huh? You do need some muscle on it here. Okay. If you start it, oh, she's good. Uh, if you start it out like this, uh, if, you start it, if you start it out round, it goes a little easier. Okay. Um, and then we actually use, instead of water in our pie dough, we use vodka. I'll leave that to the professionals so that we can move on to the fruit. Through the magic of television, we now have a perfect pie crust. You ready to add you some apples? You did a wonderful job, Belanda. <laughs> Thank you, Katrina. <laughs> the, ne the, the next two super secrets to Sugarland apple pie are use a couple of different apples. We okay. use Honeycrisp or Pink Lady, because mm -hmm. those are kind of sweet tart, and Granny Smith, because nice. they bake nicely. Okay. So now, apples go into the crust. Now, we're going to, Kaylin's going to show you in what, which Kaylin's going to start it, or we can do it together. Um, a lattice crust. Katrina shows me how simple it is to make a lattice crust. You just cut the pie crust into strips with the sewing cutter and place the strips on top of the pie in the lattice formation. We place egg wash on top for browning and raw organic crystal sugar for flavor and then the pie goes into the oven. So while the apple pie is in the oven baking, now we're going to make fried pies. We're making to make fried baby pies. These are kind of like a combination of a pie and a donut hole. Ooh. They're little teeny baby pies. So you can fill with anything you want. We make mini chocolate, cherry, and apple pies. You can use a little scoop or a teaspoon for the filling and go around the edges with egg wash. The mini pies are supposed to look like ravioli. It's important to seal them so the filling doesn't leak out. Now they get dropped in hot grease for about two minutes on each side. So while those are resting, let's check on that apple pie. So that lattice pie was taking a little too long. Pie? It's still in the oven. Pie's a commitment. Pie takes time. So instead, I'm going to try this one, which has a streusel topping. We make it with streusel top. It's a little less ambitious, a little more delicious. It's just butter, brown sugar, a little bit of flour to hold it together, and you just throw it on the top, and you don't need to fool around with the lattice crust. Mmm. We have our little fried pies, which are just like the cutest things in the entire world. Ooh. Everybody likes mini food. So here's the cherries. The cherries we've rolled in some organic sugar and cinnamon. Mmm. And just a little, just a little bright bottle, you know, a flavor. That is delicious. So, not super sweet. Um, we are selling them in the fall, like five in a bag, figuring wandering down Franklin Street on the way to a football game. Little warm pie in your tummy for breakfast never hurts. Mm. So. This is so good. It's amazing. You can get them at the Raleigh location in Cameron Village, as well as the Chapel Hill location on Franklin Street. Katrina, thank you so much. Thanks for coming to visit us.